Go, go my trip. Cross next go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Three. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Clef. We're back again, as always, bringing y'all some gameplay. I'm gonna break this game down from my defensive perspective. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little insight and just a little bit of next level intel. You know what I'm saying? So this is me versus Kill. This is a tournament game, MCS. Everything is on the line. You know what I'm saying? So there is nothing that is being withheld. You know, we are trying our very hardest, as always. And, and with the stakes a little higher, their energy, you know, is different as well. So let's just get right into it. Kiv is in the Seattle playbook. He's in the scum bunch. I'm in dollar. I'm in 4-6 playbook. You know, so he has Dan Marino hot route master. Very, very smart of him. You know, if you're going to run Seattle, you know, to have the extra camps where you can make plays like this. This is double post right here, basically. You know, that's a, a smart route, a uh, hot route at corner. And then he flips his play to have that little short corner. He goes to gun bunch, tight end, inside zone. I usually blow that up. He caught me off guard here. This right here is Bush Trailer, cover two beater. I'm in cover two, stop. You know, DB Fire, he does a great job of exploiting that right there up the middle. Right here, this is just, this is the hot route. At, I should go back and show that again because I actually, this play right here is really good. You know, you should definitely add this to your arsenal. This is just a hot route at, Corner route. I mean, um, crosser with the little hitch, especially like Pat Sale a few years ago. If you guys remember that, it's a really good play. Right here, he goes bunch trail again. I messed my adjustments up, so I had to run deep. I had a purple. He <coughs> here he goes with the little delay fade, man. That's a, delay fades are annoying. We know they're annoying. You got a man up. Come back. He runs that inside zone. I shoot the gap, but I miss. But I miss. You know, you, you know you can, and I'll go back and show you guys this. You can shoot this gap. You know, this little tip inside the tip. You see where I'm standing at? This is Dolly. Oh, man, you got all these DBs on the field. Won't you get pounded? Well, no. No, you won't. You can see me right here. Look where I'm standing. That alignment is key. That's the key to being able to shoot all these runs. You can see where I'm standing. And just watch what I do. As soon as this ball is snapped. Just tap X, and I run through there. Now, I did a terrible job of making that tackle, but as you can see, I can't make this tackle. Right here, he calls clear out. I do a great job of double mabling, man. We just run cover two, but we double mable. We have these flats. I'll show this again. Look at this. We have them flats on 20 or 25. Them purples, <laughs> they're on five. They're on five. So you can see right there, just that double mabel. And then I had a deep blue. I was scared of a bunch of trails, so you can see me had that deep blue right there. He runs clear out with the end route. Everything was caged, man. Just great adjustments. Great defense, man. Perfect play call right here. I'm in DB fire again, but I put the deep blue. I didn't want to get bombed. He runs and scrambles with Dan Marino. We'll live with that. We'll live with that. You know. Get this again. He runs clear out short side, and I've <laughs> You know, I said the pros run this. I did. I told y'all the pros run this. You can see how this just, it, it messes up cover two. It's, it's absolutely detrimental to cover two. Now what you can do is man that up. Or you can try to back that safety up. But you can see, this is just clear out short side. And you can see what that does to cover two when they throw it late. You know, great job of me by making the tackle and, and just trying to make them work down here. You know, trying to make them work right there. I got a soft squat, man. I got a soft squat. You can see right here. You know, this is just me. This is me being a little too passive, having a soft squat. Soft squat followed in the end route. Drag is wide open, man. He walks in for a touchdown. Really, really hurt me. Right here, he runs basically mesh post, but he puts the uh, slide on a crosser with a delay fade. Good play. Good play. Crosses are really good. They get over pretty much every zone. You see right here, this is clear out. He had he had the, um. you can go back and look. He had the little fade. He had it open. He had this open late. He could have threw that late. Now you can see me right here. I double Mabel right here. Just double Mabel. You know, sometimes when you're playing against these bunch guys, you just want to give them the underneath, make them work, because they really just want to bomb you most of them. So right at third and two, he runs base. We do a good job of containing it. And then he comes in fourth and inches and runs it again. Quick height me. I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get standing in the right spot off. Comes out, runs 
verticals <coughs> with the in route. A good play. There he's basically making double posts. Remember, he's in Seattle, but he's making double posts with Hot Rod Master. Smart. Smart. Right here he runs basic. Again, and you can see my alignment is why I'm not going to shoot that. See right here. I'm too. You see my alignment? How I moved too quick before the snap. You know, I, I was in the gap. Right here, I ran. People were like, why would you run? Man, I'm thinking it's third, you know, <laughs> it's that close. You know, I'm not going to let them pound me and take all the clock. You know what I'm saying? But that's what my thought process right here was. You know, if you go back, look at this situation. Second and two. I'm thinking it's two minutes left. Man, don't let him take all this clock. He run the ball. You know, he can score with no time left. I'm thinking, man, at least give your chance. So be aggressive. Give yourself a chance to get the ball back. So that's what I did right here. That's why I ran commit. Either he run or he scored, which is fine. Which is fine. You can see me run commit. Was not mad at that at all. Wasn't mad at it. Wasn't mad at it. And then you can see this two-point play right here. Big. This is a huge play, man. This is a huge play right there. He gets two right there. The whole dynamic in the game changes. Right here, you can see we went to Y. Now, Clef, why did you go to Y? Well, I went to Y right here because I'm thinking, okay, starting for fourth quarter, if he gets a first down, the game's over. The game's over if you get a first down. And I didn't want him to run the ball. You know, something fluke could happen if he run the ball. Then I can't, you know, maybe I missed the tackle or something. I want to be in somewhere I know, okay, there's no way he's going to run. So I came out and Y. That's why I came out and Y. I got real aggressive right here. Basically, if I don't get a stop here, this game is over. You know, it's over, so. That's why I came out and why I got real aggressive. You know, like I said, the worst thing you could do right here is let somebody run for a first down. If they dot you, then okay, they got it. But you let them run for a first down, you deserve to lose in this situation. So I want to play it safe and be in somewhere I knew a thousand percent there was no way. That's why we came out in this. You know, we double Mabel right there. He threw it late. I think he was scared of my click on. And we broke it up. Broke it up. Big stop. And yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it. I went on to, <laughs> we shall see, to win the game. <laughs> went on to win that game. Um, yeah, that's that's just my perspective on defense, man. I hope that next level intel really helped y'all out. You know, inside the mind of what what I was doing. You know, what he was doing as well. You know, why am I adjusting like that? Things of that nature. Um, yeah, hope that helped y'all. You guys know I stream. You guys know I, I make YouTube videos. I do all the content. You know where to find me at if you need me. Appreciate you guys as always. And like always, I hope this helps you out. And shout out to my guys, man. Everybody supporting. And shout out to the GOATs, Ant Cap and Rockets. Thank you, guys.